Hey up guys, uh, welcome back. So, something a little bit different today. Tutorial. Uh, I'm going to be releasing two tutorials a week or something like that. I'm not actually 100% sure how many, but uh, the day that you're seeing this, there's going to be another tutorial as well. So, I'm going to do two tutorials on the same day, and then obviously two live streams. Anyway, back to the big stuff. Sim dashboard. Everyone asks Euro Truck, Forza, all the different games. How do you get your dash on a tablet? Well, this is how. So, uh, Sim Dashboard is a app for Android only at the moment. Uh, it's very, very simple. You can pay per game, or you can just buy the whole key. The whole key is around about, uh, I, I, top of my head, I think it's about 11 quid. Uh, it's, as I say, there is a free version. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, I don't think it's worth your worth your time. So I'm going to show you how to set it up, where you download it from, all all the above. So first things first, you go onto your tablet and download Sim Dashboard. So here we go. So you go onto the Play Store. So if I go back here, you'll see. Go onto the Play Store. We do Sim. Uh, dash there you go it comes up at the top there so you click that obviously I've got it installed so there you go you install it you open it up and then uh, that's it so that's I've bought it so that's me buying it obviously so then you get to, to this menu where you're gonna set everything up so what you'll see is this says pro because I've got the pro key which gives me access to all of these games so all these games here I can use the dash on all of these games so that's what the 11 pound gives you so it gives you access to all these different games as you can see there's a lot there so anyway we'll get back to that so your next step is you want to hop back on your PC and you want to go to the sim dash website so Google type in sim dashboard I'll put it in the description as well uh, but it's very simple type in sim dashboard and you get this so once you're on this screen you want to scroll down until you get to this section and you want to click download PC application so you download that you install it very simple install it onto your C drive and then you get this so that's as big as I can make it unfortunately so this is very simple so, so, so some games you need to do some configurations so you'll click on this some games you need to modify so like Euro Truck it says modify the game telemetry uh, and you just click on it and it modifies it so if I click on this it says successfully edited configuration for American Truck so now American Truck has all the correct stuff installed very simple stuff like the, like a set of course you don't need to bother uh, dirt you do but it tells you everything you need to know so any games you want to configure it shows you exactly how to configure them so that that's all you need to know on that your next one is your devices the quickest way to set up your device is to do it through your tablet so I'll show you on the tablet so all you do is you scroll down on the left hand side here past all the games and you go to the settings I know you can't see this very well but you get this settings tab here look right so it says set up for your PC so you click on set up for PC and you want to click next and then you want to click Wi-Fi setup which is how I'm setting it up I'm not USB and then you want to click next simple as that so you want to click next again manual so if you have any major issues do it manually I've never done it manually so I can't give you any advice on that click automatic click next as I've got the I've got the software open on my desktop as you can see there you go so all you do is click on your desktop so that gives you that click next that'll test the connection for you which is fine so we'll click next again I do understand about my IP address I understand about the game so it literally it tells you everything that you need to configure it's very 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 simple so I'm going to click next again. Setup is all complete. So I'll click back and that's it. So as you can see, it says Euro Truck Simulator not. So when, when you first get this, you'll have an empty page. 
so you'll have a page like this so I've I've selected Euro Truck down the left hand side so you click on Euro Truck because that's the game I'm gonna play today so you get an empty page so you got the little pencil at the top right let's get we'll just get rid of this so you got the little pencil at the top you click the add you want to add a widget so you click on that you get two options there's built-in ones and then there's the community ones I recommend using the community ones that's one of the plus sides of having the pro so if you've bought this you can click straight on browse templates so these are the built-in templates so then you can click on community as you can see and these are all the community made dashboards so these are all made for euro truck for the particular game that i've selected there's button boxes so you can you can do button boxes you can literally do all sorts so there's literally like everything so just 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 to, just to show you a point so we'll do we'll do two on this and then i'll show you one on the racing side so we want a button so we're going to click that we're going to click install so it'll install the widget for you straight away there's all your buttons if it doesn't fit your screen diff well because all tablets are a different size just click on change scaling uh i always use uh what do, which one do i use i use uh i'm trying to think now <laughs> i'm pretty sure it, oh center that's what i use i use center so we're going to click on center click ok and there's our button panel so then you click ok on the top there and we're done so when you're actually using it if you double tap any of the screen it'll go away so now we, we can just click a button and obviously all these work so you can see the green the green thing coming up so and all them will work on your game they tend to map automatically so if you just open euro truck right now that'll work so very very simple so another one we'll do we'll do another one just so you know so you want to go back up to the top the little buttons you want to add an empty page again and then you want to go to pencil again you want to click on this click on the add a widget or slash design then you want to click templates and you want to click community so we'll, we'll, add, we'll add a dashboard in for you so uh, we'll find the dashboard there, there, there's a new Scania dashboard. I mean, look, there's, <laughs> as you can see, a Renault T-Range dash. So you can literally have anything, like. So we'll, we'll add the Renault T because I don't have it. So install the Renault T dash. Same again. That's, that's all spot on. So you want to click on OK. And then we have a, a usable dashboard. Simple as that. And then uh, obviously you can flick through your dashes. I've got obviously I've already got tons installed, uh, all, all these buttons and yeah, all sorts. So another one we'll go to. So we'll go to say Forza, which is another big one that everyone asks for. The difference with Forza is you do need to set it up in game. So in the actual game you do need to set it up. Uh, so you basically you go to HUD, and then you scroll down. And then you go to uh, there's a bit at the bottom that says IP, and you just got to type in the IP address. But again, it, the software tells you everything. Leave a comment if you can't get your Forza one working. I'll do a specific video on it. But you want to have a Forza dashboard, so we'll go to the pencil plus sign, add a design, browse templates, community, and then we have all these. So you can just add in whatever you want for forza personally I, I prefer like the the drift display so it's got a boost gauge and that on it you know uh there's a couple of them i think uh i mean look you've even got the side tech farming panel you know so you can install that for i, I mean i don't know why because it doesn't work on farm sim but I, you might be able to use it on farm sim i'm not 100 percent sure i think the button panel you can so, but yeah, there's literally everything. So we'll say we'll have this here. So we'll install this. So we want to sort the scaling out again. So we're just going to go to the center scaling. Done. So you click the little tick. Sorted. I mean, it's as simple as that. It, it really is. So once you once you start the game. So we go back. We'll select uh, what we'll select. So we'll select Euro Truck for instance. 
because I'm gonna go I'm gonna go truck them for a bit. So select that. We'll go and fire up the game. So we've got this running. I'll fire up the game just to show you a point. So you've just bought the app. You've got this all set up. You go to game. You go to uh, Euro Truck, and then you want to use the config. And once you've configured it, it'll come up here saying configured, which mine has. So once you've got a green tick in that box, and you've got uh, you've got your dashboard, which is on here. So you've got your dash, and it says not running. So I'll fire up the game, and you'll see. Just bear with us. Alright, so Euro Truck will fire this up. Alright, so that's a game just going to turn on now. And you'll see that that will change right there. I apologise, it's not. Uh, there you go. So it's just starting to fire up. So we'll just uh, skip through that. That's just sorting my, uh, <laughs> just sorting this out. Right, we're sorted. So we'll continue with this. And obviously the dashboard says it's running. So I'm gonna go and hop in a truck and show you that it works. But right, yeah, I mean this this app, I mean for the money is just phenomenal. And uh, as I say, there's literally I've got Project Cars too, so I've got dashboards for Project Cars too. Take a little bit of time to load in, obviously, but there's a Project Cars two dash, another one GTR dash, Timons, you know, race dash, and then I've also got like i racing. So I've got a Sparko button box for i racing. I don't use it, but it's just you know, it's why not. I've got another Mortec dash, I've got a boost display dash, Porsche dash, you know, and once you double tap that, that goes away, and then you've got a full dashboard. So, we'll go back to Euro Truck Simulator 2, as this is just loading up now. And I've also got this flexible mount here, which I got off Amazon for about £10, so it was not expensive. Alright, so we click go. Right, we're just going to load up. So I don't think I've missed anything on the tutorial. So we uh, will flick ignition on the truck. We'll turn it on. And then as you can see, it's working exactly to the dash. So that's that. That's that. It's It's so simple. So yeah, I mean, it's it's literally, I don't really know what else to show, but it's it's that easy. Uh, I've obviously got the sat-nav as well, but I mean, there's so many dashes. But yeah, there's, there's the Volvo dash. So it shows you fuel and everything as well, the man dash. But it's as simple as that, so you put your indicator on, your indicator works. And I mean, it's, I don't know if you can see, but it's seamless. Look, it's so quick. Indicator off, indicator on. I mean, there's very, there's very little delay, really. I mean, look at the delay on that, look. So if I, if I go back to the one I had on earlier, which is the old dash, look at that. It's literally the same. I look, I mean, for Wi-Fi. I've been gobsmacked and I've used so many. And don't forget, if you are using this, uh, if you are using this dash, that's the one we put in. Uh, and that's obviously the buttons we put in. So, so if I click this button, you see, see, so some of my buttons I've actually remapped. So for my button box, right? But if you if you run in standard configuration, this will work uh, <coughs> straight away. So. For instance, right, so if I if I hit the the hazard button, you'll see that, because I haven't changed the hazard button, you see. Well, because I've changed my light button. Oh, no, my lights still work. So, yeah, as you can see, works literally seamless. So, you can use it for your lights. And the buttons are all mapped. I've not mapped these. I don't know if the indicator will work. 
yeah indicator works as well so yeah this is completely seamless so uh you've got lcd mode so it, the lcd mode you see will change change the lcd in the truck so the button box from a button box point of view is phenomenal because you don't need to map it uh my engine won't work because obviously i've uh, i've changed it so my parking brake won't work because obviously i have a parking brake so but that that's it really i mean that's as as much as i think i need to show you it's very very simple so if that did help you uh please let me know i mean i don't think i missed anything out it it is literally very simple to set up it tells you everything to do on the screen most of the games are very simple let me know in the comments if forza is causing you a little bit of trouble i can help you with it uh, but other than that that'll do from me sim dash highly recommended not sponsored i bought it myself uh, and i just i can't fault the game so please get it buy the whole version because it just will save you money i did it the other way i bought euro truck i then bought project cars and i racing i was up to about seven or eight pounds and the actual key was only 11 quid so i bought three games i was up to i was up to around about eight quid i think eight or nine pounds and i went and just bought the whole thing so i actually ended up paying near 20 pound for the key where it's 11 quid to buy straight away so just go and get it bought buy the whole thing unless you literally just play euro truck i recommend buying the whole key enjoy it don't forget to use the community tab because that helps all the modders that are making all these dashboards for us and uh, i'll catch you all in the next one Drop a comment if I missed anything and I'll get back to it. Take care, have a good one.